Whenever FDA approves or authorizes a vaccine, our work doesn't stop there. We're on the job constantly, and we'll be helping to set up programs and surveillance to actually detect ongoing safety events. All right, tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more about vaccine safety. To ensure the safety and effectiveness of new vaccines, public and private vaccine developers rely on scientists and experts from the FDA. I'm Dr. Stephen Hahn, Commissioner of the U.S. Food and Drug Administration in the Department of Health and Human Services. FDA has had an active role throughout the development process of a vaccine, from the preclinical animal studies all the way through the human clinical studies. When the human clinical phase three studies are finished, manufacturers send us the data in an application, and we look actively at that information for both safety and efficacy. We won't cut corners on the evaluation of a vaccine. Why is continuing safety oversight needed after clinical trials? Although these large phase three clinical trials were performed with many subjects, we know that uh, unidentified long-term or uncommon side effects could occur. And that is why the surveillance program is so important, so that FDA can help monitor this. Now this occurs for up to two years or longer after authorization or approval of a vaccine. How is this safety oversight carried out? FDA has a number of tools to look at safety issues. First of all, there's the clinical trial data that we'll review as part of the authorization or approval process. But then we'll work with the manufacturer to set up a process that could include use of cell phone technology, that could include looking at medical records, de-identified, of course, to protect people's privacy, data from a variety of different sources to look for potential side effects and ongoing effectiveness of the vaccine. Are there special requirements for COVID-19 vaccines? In June 2020, as well as October 2020, FDA outlined the specific criteria we would use regarding COVID-19 vaccines. We will employ those uh, guidelines as we do the surveillance for safety and efficacy. We have also pledged to have an open and transparent meeting of our Vaccine and Related Biologics Advisory Committee, experts in vaccine development, who will look at data that we provide them and advise FDA. FDA has incredible scientific expertise. We have openness and transparency in our process. There will be an outside review committee. We believe that the American public should have great confidence in FDA's approval or authorization process. For the latest information, please visit cdc.gov slash coronavirus. Produced by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services at taxpayer expense.